good morning all of you today let's discuss the properties of multiplication of integers multiplication of integers we have already discussed and now let's see the properties and the first property is closure under multiplication so closure under addition we have already discussed just like that there it was addition but here it is multiplication that is for any integer a and b or for all integers a and b a into b is also an integer that is if a and b are integers then a into b is also an integer that is what closure under multiplication says or we can say that integers are closed under multiplication let's see this property by taking an example okay let's take minus 2 and 3 and multiply them so minus 2 into 3 here you can see that minus 2 is an integer and 3 is also an integer and when we multiply minus 2 with 3 then what you will get what is minus 2 into 3 that is multiplication of a negative integer with a positive integer then you have to multiply them as whole number and put the negative sign that is 2 into 3 what is 2 into 3 that is 6 so you have to put the negative sign so minus 6 will be the answer here minus 6 is also an integer so you can say that integers are closed under multiplication or for all integers a and b a into b is also an integer now let's take another example say let's take 0 and 3 0 into 3 what is 0 into 3 it is 0 so here 0 is an integer 3 is an integer and the product that we got after multiplying 0 into 3 which is 0 it is also an integer so integers are closed under multiplication now let's take any two negative integers let's take minus 2 and minus 1 and minus 2 and multiply them so what will be the answer what is minus 1 into minus 2 multiplication of two negative integers means what you have to multiply them as whole numbers and put the positive sign okay so the answer will be plus 2 so here minus 1 is an integer minus 2 is an integer and the product 2 is also an integer so we can say that integers are closed under multiplication or a into b is an integer for all a and b okay so you can say that a into b is an integer for all a and b okay so this is what closure property says or closure under multiplication so in general we can say integers are closed under multiplication now let's see the next property which is commutativity of multiplication that is for any two integers a and b a into b equal to b into a this is what commutative property says for addition it was a plus b equal to b plus a but here it is the commutativity of multiplication so it will be a into b equal to b into a that is we have to take any two integers a and b and then we need to do a into b and again you need to do b into a and you need to check whether a into b equal to b into a or not let's explain this commutativity using an example let's take 4 and minus 5 as examples and check it here a equal to 4 and b equal to minus 5 and let's multiply that then what you will get 4 into minus 5 you need to multiply them as whole number and put the negative sign so you will get the answer as minus 20 okay now now the next thing is what is so we have done a into b a into b we have done now the next thing is b into a that is minus 5 into 4 just exchange the numbers okay now what will be minus 5 into 4 same you need to multiply them as whole number and put the negative sign so what is 5 into 4 it's again 20 and put the negative sign 
so here also minus 20 and here also minus 20 that means a into b equal to b into a so you can say multiplication is commutative for integers understand you can take any other example and check let's take um, let's take minus 10 and minus 4 let's take minus 10 and minus 4 and multiply them then what will be the answer you know that when multiplying two negative integers you need to multiply them as whole numbers and put the positive sign okay so what is the answer plus 40 plus 40 will be the answer now you have done a into b you have done a into b now let's do b into a b into a means just exchange the numbers that is minus 4 into minus 10 here also you can see you need to multiply them as whole numbers and put the positive sign so what will be 4 into 10 it is 40 so plus 40 so a into b you got the answer as plus 40 and b into a you got the answer as plus 40 that means you can say a into b equal to b into a that means multiplication is commutative for integers okay that is what the second property says understand that is for any two integers a and b a into b equal to b into a now let's see the third property which is multiplication by zero that is let's multiply any integer by zero let's take an example as minus three let's take minus three and multiply this minus three by zero then what you will get you will see that you will get the answer as three into zero which is equal to zero okay so 0 will be the answer 3 into 0 that means 0 only okay now let's take any other let's take 11 and multiply this 11 by 0 then what you will get what is 11 into 0 0 now let's take any other number say 0 into minus 6 what is the answer 0 into 6 negative sign that means what zero okay so in all the cases you got zero that means for any integers a a into zero equal to zero which is equal to zero into a that means product of integers and zero is zero that is for any integers a a into 0 equal to 0 which is equal to 0 into a that is when we multiply any integers by 0 we will get the answer as 0 okay that is the third property now let's see the fourth property which is multiplicative identity whenever an integer any integer when multiplied by 1 we will get the same integer itself okay when we are taking any integer and when we are multiplying that particular integer by 1 we will get the same integer itself so we can say that 1 is the multiplicative identity for integers let's take examples and see let's take minus 2 and multiply this minus 2 by 1 then what you will get you will get you need to multiply them as whole numbers and put the negative sign so minus 2 okay so we took minus 2 and we got minus 2 itself when multiplied by 1 similarly let's take 0 and multiply this 0 by 1 then what you will get what is 0 into 1 0 so you took 0 and you got 0 now let's take 3 and multiply this 3 by 1 what is the answer 3 so you took 3 and you got 3 that means whenever one and any integer when multiplied by 1 we will get the same integer itself so 1 is the multiplicative identity for integers okay 1 is the multiplicative identity for integers or you can say for any integer a a into 1 equal to a which is equal to 1 into a that is 
okay this is what multiplicative identity says additive identity you have already studied in the beginning of this chapter in the properties that is when zero is added to any integer we will get the same integer itself so the additive identity for any integer is zero but multiplicative identity means what any integer when multiplied by this additive identity or multiplied by one we will get the same integer itself so one is the multiplicative identity for integers multiplicative identity means you have to do multiplication and when multiplication is done when you will get the same integer itself then that particular number is the multiplicative identity so one will be the multiplicative identity but in the case of additive identity you are doing addition and after doing the addition when you are getting the same answer then that particular integer will be the additive identity so zero will be the additive identity in that way okay so that is the case of multiplicative identity now let's see the fifth property which is associativity for multiplication okay associative property that you already know which is for any two integers a b and c let's take any three integers a b and c and what is associative property a into b into c equal to a into b into c you will understand this after taking example let's take minus 3 minus 2 and 5 as a b and c let's take minus 3 minus 2 and 5 this is a this is b and this is c okay now first let's do a into b into c okay a into b into c so a into b means what you have to do minus 3 into minus 2 okay then multiply it with what c that is 5 then what you will get let's see you will get what is minus 3 into minus 2 multiplication of two negative integers you have to multiply them as whole numbers and put the negative sign sorry put the positive sign that means what is 3 into 2 that is 6 and put the positive sign means plus 6 into plus 6 into this 5 okay so what is the answer what is 6 into 5 6 into 5 is 30 so you got the answer as 30 now let's do the next part that is a into b into c that means what what is a here minus 3 minus 3 into what is b into c minus 2 into what is c 5 okay so minus 3 you have to write as it is now minus 3 you have to write as it is then into what is next minus 2 into 5 that is multiplication of a negative integer with a positive integer then you have to multiply them as whole number and put the negative sign that is 2 into 5 that is 10 and put the negative sign means what minus 10 okay so you got minus 3 into minus 10 what is minus 3 into minus 10 that is 3 into 10 and you have to put the positive sign because it's the multiplication of two negative integers so your answer will be plus 30 or 30 so here you got 30 and here you got 30 that means a into b into c equal to a into b into c okay this was a into b into c and the next one was a into b into c okay so this is how you have to do the associative property so after doing this you understood that both answers are correct that means multiplication is associative for integers now let's see the sixth property which is distributive property this is actually distributivity of multiplication over addition that means here 
for any integers a, b and c, a into b plus c equal to a into b plus a into c. This is the distributive property or the formula for distributive property which you have to keep in mind. That means if you are taking any three integers a, b and c and when you are doing a into b plus c then its answer will be equal to a into b plus a into c. Let us check this by taking an example. This is actually distributivity of multiplication over addition. Okay. So let us see whether it is true for integers. Let us take minus 2, 3 and 5. As example, let us take a equal to minus 2 and b equal to 3 and c equal to 5. This is a, this is b, this is c. Now first let us do a into b plus c. That is first let us do a into b plus c. That means minus 2 into b plus c. That means what? 3 plus 5. Okay. So what you will get, first you have to do this thing, that is 3 plus 5, which is in the bracket. So minus 2 into, what is 3 plus 5? 3 plus 5 is 8. So you got minus 2 into 8. What is minus 2 into 8? The answer is minus 16. That is you have to multiply them as whole number and put the negative sign. Okay. So, minus 16 will be the answer. Now, the next one is A into B plus A into C. Okay. This one was A into B plus C. This one. Okay. Now, the next thing is A into B plus A into C. So, what is A into B? A into B means minus 2 into 3. Okay. Okay plus what is a into c minus 2 into what is c 5 okay now let's do this so the answer will be what is minus 2 into 3 minus 2 into 3 is minus 6 plus what is minus 2 into 5 minus 2 into 5 is minus 10 now you got addition of minus 6 and minus 10. That means integers having the same sign. So you have to add them. That is 10 plus 6 and put the negative sign. So the answer will be minus 16. So in the first case you got minus 16. Here also minus 16. That means a into b plus c equal to a into b plus a into c. Or you can say distributivity of multiplication over addition is true for integers okay this is even true for subtraction also that is distributivity of multiplication over subtraction is also true for integers you can check that by taking the same example itself that is there instead of addition you have to do subtraction let's do that that is for distributivity of multiplication over subtraction, you have to do subtraction. That is A into B minus C you have to do. And you have to prove it is equal to A into B minus A into C. First, let us do A into B minus C. How you will do that? This is what? Minus 2. Minus 2 into B minus C means what? B is 3 here. C is 5 here. So, 3 minus 5 equal to. So, you will get minus 2 into. What is 3 minus 5? 3 minus 5 means what? 3 minus 5 means plus 3 minus 5. That means you have to subtract them and put the sign of bigger number. That means which is equal to minus 2. So, minus 2 into minus 2. Minus 2 into minus 2 means what? You have to multiply them and put the positive sign. So, the answer will be plus 4. Multiplication as well as addition 
subtraction etc of integers i think you are you all are thorough with that you should be thorough with that then only you will understand these properties okay so you got here the answer as plus 4 now let's see a into b minus a into c a into b means what minus 2 into 3 okay minus minus 2 into 5 let's do this so we got the answer like this that is a into b plus a into c what is minus 2 into 3 that is multiplication of a negative integer with a positive integer that is we will multiply it as whole number that is 2 into 3 and put the negative sign minus now what is minus 2 into 5 you will get minus 10 okay so minus 6 minus minus 10 how you will do the subtraction minus 6 you will put as it is instead of minus you will put plus now what is the additive inverse of minus 10 it is 10 plus 10 it is plus 10 so now minus 6 plus plus 10 that means you will subtract 10 minus 6 and put the sign of bigger number what is the sign of bigger number it is plus so you will get the answer as plus 4 so here you got the answer as plus 4 and here also plus 4 so both are plus 4 so a into b minus c equal to a into b minus a into c that, that means you can say that distributivity of multiplication over subtraction is true for integers so distributivity of multiplication over addition and subtraction is true for integers in general you can say that okay so about subtraction how you will write for any integers a b and c a into b minus c equal to a into b minus a into c that is for any integers a, b and c, a into b minus c equal to a into b minus a into c. So these are the distributive property for integers. Distributivity of multiplication over addition and subtraction. So I hope you understood these concepts. So that's all for today. Thank you.